legislation against firearm ownership and individuals want to make sure that they get their guns because they perceive a need to have it to protect themselves and their families. What do you think is probably the biggest misconception from outsiders looking in at this rally, seeing all these people with their guns in, their, in a world that they don't really understand? Well, um, biggest misconception is that somehow a, a gun, a firearm, somehow makes a person more likely to do something socially unacceptable or criminal. These people are just like you, just like your neighbors. They are, un they are just like anyone else. The only difference is, is that these people have looked into the news media, they've read the newspapers, they saw the news stories, and they've decided to take on the more active role in their first profession. I can't think of anything that's a greater demonstration of the love that a person has for their family members than to be, than to be positioned to protect them from individuals who wish to offer them unsolicited violence. What are you hoping... Who are you... Who are you hoping hears this message, gets this message, and what do you hope they get from it? I hope that actually bad guys hear this message and realize that firearm ownership is being adopted by a far greater number of people. Hopefully those evil bad people will realize that their days are essentially numbered as being able to attack good people with impunity and not face any consequences. I would also hope that citizens who are of good character and can pass a background check and are curious as to how they can protect their families will see all of us exercising our right to carry and might take that next step through the encouragement they receive to get their carry licenses and to protect their homes and also their neighboring communities. Uh, how do you feel about uh, today's turnout and so far what you've seen? I felt today's turnout was positive. Of course, as any promoter, I'm not the promoter of this event, but I promote my own business. I would have loved for the turnout to have been greater. But you know what? It could have been a lot worse. I'm very thankful for all the individuals who made personal sacrifices to their families and to their homes to gather together with us fellow gun owners and to show that we are united in support of the Second Amendment. And hopefully this story will go out to the greater community all across the state and let people know that the Second Amendment is very popular, gun stores are having problems with staying in stock, and that the Second Amendment is not going anywhere, not even if anti-gunners get elected to office. We will protect our families and protect our community. All right, so look, anything else? Oh, the only other thing is that I would like to say is that I feel that it's imperative for all citizens to take a look at exercising more involvement in their safety. We have a lot of things that are coming at us as individuals and as communities. There's economic uncertainty. There's individuals who are being let out of prison early. There's no accountability for their rehabilitation. We don't know what further gun laws may be coming down the road to further impact our rights. I implore everyone to very, to very strong consideration to receive firearms training and to also look at the targeting themselves. That'll work. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.